Um, in interviewing Reverend Shuttlesworth, he talked about when King was coming into Birmingham and he heard that King was coming into Birmingham and he said <clears throat> that he had initially he had some resentment because everybody was all excited about this Dr. King and he had a PhD and he was this, that and the other thing. And so Sh Shuttlesworth said he and Dr. King had to sort of find a way of working with each other because they had mm -hmm. very different styles. And he particularly said that, that he, he, Shuttlesworth, was uh, very sort of the activist, the general. He wanted to get the troops out in the yeah. field there all the time. And he said, and, and Dr. King would frustrate him because he'd want to sit around and think all the time <laughs> and worry about stuff. He was like, stop doing that. Just come on out there and, you know, and let's get going. Uh, the 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 image, the picture of the different strategies and personalities involved in all of this was is really fascinating. Where did you fit in the middle of all this? Well, I think I was the mediator between Shuttlesworth and King because I was an activist myself and I believed that you needed to have uh, campaigns like Birmingham to move us forward. And if, if nonviolence was legitimate, means of social change, you had, it had to work in Birmingham, it had worked anywhere. And that, I was glad when we decided to go to Birmingham because it tested the use of nonviolence. And when I left Atlanta for Birmingham to start the campaign, Dr. King said to me, said, why you got to find a way to create a crisis and I don't know what it is at the moment, but I, I find it. And I found a, found a way to create the crisis in Birmingham. And that was what led to a successful campaign. And you were with SCLC for four years? Four years. And during that time, in addition to Birmingham, were there other things that stand out in your mind as, as markers of that experience for you? Well, I talk about the concentric circle development of the nonviolent movement in America. And I started with the Montgomery bus protests, followed by the sit-in movement, followed by the Freedom Rides, the two Albany campaigns, and in Birmingham and Selma, leading finally, uh, sort of finally, to the anti-Vietnam War. You know, each one is a circle that keeps on expanding.